제 147회 일식이나 파스타도 먹어요. 안녕하세요. Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Be Korean. I'm your host Lisa Kelly and let me just go right ahead and introduce my good friend Steve. And I'm your coach Stephen Revere. 안녕하세요. I'll be helping you out with the Korean language today. And today I, I'm going out to eat. I seem to be the main character in most of these dialogues for summer. Where have you been? Oh, well, I'm taking a break, okay? Yeah. They're paying okay. the big bucks to sit in this chair. <laughs> actually, you're not going out to eat. You, you actually went to that party, okay? Right, right. I'm going to the, to the friend's party, uh -huh. right? And I'm out eating. Over, I'm there eating, and uh, I'm evaluating the food, which you'll hear a little bit more about in a minute after we talk to... 안녕하세요, 네오미입니다. 안녕하세요, 컨빌입니다. Well, food is one of my favorite things, and Steve's too, so let's get mm -hmm. right into our situation. Wrap it up with Lisa and Steven. 음식 솜씨가 좋군요. 음식이 다제 입에 맞아요. <웃음> 별 말씀을. 스티븐은 어떤 음식을 즐겨 드세요? 물론 한국에 있으니까 주로 한식을 먹죠. 가끔 일식이나 이태리 파스타도 먹어요. 한국 음식 중에서 어떤 음식을 제일 좋아하세요? Okay, they're finally on their second day. They've gone to the friend's birthday party, and Stephen says, mm, he's tasted the food, and he's saying, 음식 솜씨가 좋군요. Okay, 음식 is food. 솜씨가 좋군요. You don't hear this word a lot. 솜씨 is, uh, she is good at making food, so, oh, she's ability, a good cook. Ability, kind of, it's kind of an abel ability, isn't it? Right. Continue on. 음식이 다제 입맛에, 입맛, 입에 맞아요. Mm -hmm. Okay, 음식이 다제 입에, Eva's mouth, right? It all fits my mouth. Okay, it's okay. to my liking. I, it's, I like it. it mm -hmm. My taste buds and your food, they go together great. You will hear this a lot when you're out at Korean mm -hmm. restaurants. People, you're sitting there eating kimchi, and somebody goes, Eva, 맞아요? And you go, yes, 네, Eva, 맞아요? And the, yeah. the, the, the Koreans are always really surprised when a foreigner really enjoys their food. And I like this next line we're going to hear. Ho, 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 this uh, friend laughs, and then she says, <laughs> 별 말씀요. 별 말씀요. Okay, this is just like, I'll get out of here, or uh, you're welcome. You're flattering me. That's right. Is what I always <laughs> consider. Is, oh, don't flatter me. 별 is like extra, above and beyond something a little special. And then 말씀 is language or speech, so you're giving me some special speech. What is she saying? You're flattering me. Don't flatter me. The full expression is, mm -hmm. and if you remember that one and you use it in front of Koreans, they'll crack up laughing if they go, oh, I'm going to try to and then you go, oh, I'm going to try to and they'll go, oh, it's a great one to use. Mm -hmm. And the friend says, Stephen, what kinds of foods do you normally like? High form. To say, oh, to eat something in the high form, she's being really polite to me, isn't she? Jilyo uh dishida -huh. is to enjoy eating, right? What foods do you enjoy eating? Jilyo to say, what would you say for low form? Jilyo? Mogoyo. Nice job, yeah. Oton umsigo, jilyo mogoyo for your friends. And of course, when I'm responding, I would never use the high form to myself, so I would say, oton moi. Kimchi, jilyo mogoyo, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, Stephen answers, <laughs> 물론, of course, 한국에 있으니까 주로 한식을 먹어요. Because I live in Korea, I often or usually eat Korean food, of course. Okay, okay. and Stephen specifies what he does also like to eat. Mm -hmm. 가끔, once in a while, 일식이나 이탈리 파스타도 먹어요. Okay, once in a while he has Japanese food or Italian pasta. Yeah, that e na in the middle is or, isn't it? Now, what happens if we switch it around? Il shig e na is how it starts out. What if we put the Italy food, Italian food first? Itali na. Huh? Itali pasta na. Then what happens? Itali, if you just go Itali or Itali pasta, what happens? It ends without a pachim, it just ends in a vowel, right? Mm -hmm. So then you drop the e, right? Wow. The E right before the na, right? You, it just disappears. So, yep. Itali pasta na? Na? Uh, Ilbon umshik. Mogoyo, churo mogoyo, something. Some cap mogoyo. Either one of those are okay, right? Okay. Let's practice switching those two around, okay? So we can practice both ways sure. to say or. Well, here's a good way to practice it. Earlier I asked you what kinds of foods you like using this format, okay? Kakum, blank, ina, blank, 
먹죠? Okay, answer me this. Okay, 어떤 음식을 즐겨 드세요? 가끔 파키스탄 음식이나 okay. 일식을 먹어요. Very nice. 네, 어떤 가끔, 음식을 드세요? 네, 가끔 네팔 음식이나 물고기를 먹죠. Oh, very good. They ended it very perfectly. Okay, let's go on to the next sentence. 한국 음식 중에서 어떤 음식을 제일 좋아하세요? I'm sure you've heard this a billion times if you've been studying uh, Korean. 제일 좋아하세요? What's your favorite thing? What's the thing that you like most? What uh, 한국 음식 중에서? Korean food. Which Korean food do you like the most? 중에서 means amongst. Jung means middle, right? We've had this, yeah. you'll see this many times if you haven't yeah. seen it already. Jung means middle. Jung e so. You start out with a noun. Jung e so. So, well, you could use any noun here. Nara jung e so. To ask someone who's traveled a lot to a lot of places. Oh, Odi nara jung e so. Jail jo seo. What country do you like most amongst all the countries okay. that you have been to? Those kinds of things. You just put a noun plus jung e so. So, but anyway, uh, I need to know something that would be a good present for a young lady. What do you think would be good? Gochina. Uh -huh. Gochina. Uh -huh. Gochina Hyangsu Gochina Very good. Yeah. Those two guys. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's, there's a goat. Goat. There's your flower. And it's not perfume, it's sorry. Okay. It's it's but it's okay. something, I mean, we'll open it Thank later. You. Now, I got one more thing. If you were paying attention to our lesson, then you should know if it's your birthday, what are you supposed to do for us tonight? I know, I know. I'm going to take a hand. Oh! 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 Okay, well, let's go on to our Korean Insight. Korean Insight. Look, ladies and gentlemen, I was up late last night, you know, I was, in, I was watching another movie. But I was watching my movie on DVD. DVD with Korean subtitles, ladies and gentlemen. Late if you can. I've got about a dozen movies, and I watch them again and again and again. You pick up the same movie, and you watch it many times, and before long, you pick up exactly the situation that this grammar, or this word, or this phrase belongs in. I really recommend Singles. Singles is a great movie to watch. You get all kinds of good grammar. And fun. It's actually not grammar. All kinds of fun phrases. It's a funny comedy movie. Another one, Yupki Jogging Kunya. Classic movie. Great to watch. And then if you like more of a classic romantic story, I recommend Classic. Oh, that was good. I, like I cried like four times a yeah. day. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, let's ask Stephen to review over our uh, grammar for today. Yeah. Yes, we were giving two options, right? Pabina, uh, pizza, bogupshida. Right. Let's eat those two, one of this or that. And then our second one was blank chungeso. <laughs> I forgot them all. Okay. okay. Yes, chungeso. That's right. Yes, chungeso amongst. Uh, many of one type of thing, you must put a noun in there. Uh, cookie 중에서 제일 좋아하는 쿠키가 뭐예요? What is, um, amongst cookies, what is your favorite kind of cookie, right? Uh -huh. Okay, let's put it all together into our flash animation. 음식 솜씨가 좋군요. 음식이 다제 입에 맞아요. <웃음> 별 말씀을. 스티븐은 어떤 음식을 즐겨 드세요? 물론 한국에 있으니까 주로 한식을 먹죠. 가끔 일식이나 이태리 파스타도 먹어요. 한국 음식 중에서 어떤 음식을 제일 좋아하세요? Okay, I hope you enjoyed our lesson. Put those phrases to good use and take Steve's advice. Go out and rent a CD uh, or a, a DVD today. And uh, Naomi, are you ready? 떡볶이 먹으러 갑시다. You ain't getting out that easy. Okay, bye-bye everyone. See you next time. Bye-bye.